Hello and welcome back to another series of Skyrim Requiem 3BF Tweaks. My name is Saiken and this is Diaries of Death. As always, a short explanation of where we stand in the Diaries of Death. This is a regular series where I am starting a few builds and we'll run them through the different tiers of uh, Requiem. Tier 1 being anything between level 1 and 20 with a clear goal for each of the characters. Those who survive then will be up for a voting and whoever you want to continue to see will progress to tier number 2 which is essentially level 20 to 35. Uh, there are a couple of challenges there and finally we see tier 3 if any of the characters would survive and that would be the big bosses Alduin, Mirak and Karstak who is uh, the boss of uh, the Dawnguard DLC. Those are in Requiem context quite uh, hardcore enemies and require a higher level. Anyways, let's take a look what the Diaries of Death have uh, shown so far. So, Season 1, Hums of Devella, uh, the Illusionite. Season 2 saw the death of a poison built uh, from Ron the Snake. Season 3, uh, Hermetheus, the Purifier, still well and alive after killing uh, Pro uh, Pometia. Then we had Geoffrey Delore, a martial ranger who unified the Amulet of Gondor. In the last series, Patrick the Monk almost finished the Civil War quest, uh, was slain by the High King, and now the question is how do we proceed? The answer to that will be Isaac the Reborn. Um, this episode or this diary will be written uh, by a full mage. Isaac has a nice uh, storyline which I will come uh, to in a second. Isaac's task for this diary will be to join the Thieves Guild and investigate, essentially become a knighting uh, gale and uh, solve this uh, Thieves, Guild, uh, Thieves Guild main quest line. So without further ado, let's jump into it. As Isaac stares into the flame of the nearby brazier, he feels a deep dissatisfaction with the current situation. The last month had been nothing but trouble. His lost memory is nothing more than a pile of fragments of former bits of flashbacks that come and go, nothing coherent. He doesn't even know he, who he was, except his name. The man that he spends his time with, a warlock by the name of Victor, has told him that he is worthless and that he really is a nobody. But the scars on his body tell a different story. One of former distant glory, one of being a powerful spellcaster. In order to achieve that goal once again, in order to get reborn, in order to reclaim what uh, his memories tell him, Isaac needs to act. And he needs to act fast. So he comes up with a plan of poisoning and killing the evil warlock, thus taking his own destiny into his own hands. And such begins the Diaries of Death of Isaac the Reborn. My name is Saiken. Today we're playing Skyrim Requiem 3 BS tweaks. It is a permadeath run, so the first time that we die, the, the run will be over. And we're playing a full mage, potentially the strongest build in normal Requiem, and arguably still the strongest build in uh, 3BF tweaks, even though mages have been nerfed. And when I say strongest, I mean in the end game. Uh, magic is quite powerful in the end game, but it is quite weak at the beginning. We're playing a Breton. Uh, Bretons uh, do have a natural resistance against magic of 20 points. Uh, start with a relatively high uh, magicka, but have abysmally bad stats. Uh, they can, however, cook special meals, which uh, we will do, and uh, they also uh, possess uh, the uh, power of absorbing spells if uh, they activate their racial ability. On top of that, uh, Bretons can automatically use uh, potions or create potions and they can enchant without spending uh, perks so they can recharge their weapons, both of which 
uh, will be quite handy for what we're trying to do. We're playing a full mage uh, and compared to the other runs where I'm limiting myself to one shout and a few uh, and no companion, this is an everything goes uh, run. I want to create kind of the most powerful uh, 3BF tweaks uh, character that I think I could create. And as such, we have uh, picked a power race and we're, we're going to pick a power build. And um, we're going to play with a companion and every shout is available. So we're playing the Dragonborn. Uh, it's just a Dragonborn who has lost his memories. Very fitting uh, for the situation. As a birth uh, sign, we are going to go with the Mage Stone. 75 extra Magicka is great. In addition, 5% uh, reduction or 10% reduction of spell costs. So that in itself is good. Uh, spell cost reduction will be the name of the game of the next uh, thing as well as we are using a blessing we're using julianus as a blessing um, who allows to attack with uh, battle staffs a bit more effectively nothing that we really will do uh, a lot has 35 percent magicka regeneration that's good and we'll get 10 magicka per every perk in every school there are five schools for four tiers of perks so we're looking at 200 magicka and the moment that we get the elder scroll we gain 15 percent cheaper spells uh, that sticks with the other spell uh, cost reduction so we're already uh, off to a good start in terms of uh, just overall skills. Let's start uh, with the three perks. We want Alteration and we're going to use Mage Armor and Absorbing Grasp as our damage spell for starters. We're going Restoration and in Restoration I would like Healing Aura and Heal Self. Arcane Ward is fantastic but we're not going to use that. Um, we're trying to use the, the next one. And we're having Novice Conjuration, where I would like to get the good old Spirit Wolf uh, first, which is helpful. And we're potentially going to go with uh, the War Axe, the Bound uh, War Axe, so that we are independent of uh, weapons and can always have a relatively strong uh, weapon. We will uh, take whatever is available a little bit of lavender here i think uh, that will come in handy good cabbage leek all of that uh, will be handy when we're starting to brew th uh, something alchemy increase automatically uh, a spell tome this, by the way, is the alternative start um, Start with as the Thrall of a Warlock uh, um, start, which is, in my perspective, for Mage, the most powerful start. We're going to take a couple of potatoes, one, two, three, four, five, and this here was the basket with carrots. There we go. Cool. Done more cabbage and a little bit additional resources greater soul gem although not filled yet and what we want is that and that and that and that and that and that And we're going to do a little trick here to overpower our Necromancer. He allows us to attack once or twice without um, penalizing us. Then we're waiting and we're doing a bit of rinse and repeat. And finally, we're going to get him down. Cool. 
So a few more things that we will uh, take with us. We're starting with a Ring of Nullification, which is another reason why I started here. Fantastic 22 magic resistance, incredibly high. And we're starting with a Rope of Minor Restoration, faster magicka regen, a little bit cheaper healing spells, so that's good. Um, we don't have a lot of potions, but we do have a Staff of Lightning Shackles, and that bad boy is fantastic. He, We will be able to deal quite a bit of damage. All right, off we go. I think we have everything that we need in order to be successful here. Okay, I hotkeyed all of uh, the important stuff. Let's give ourselves mage armor. Bit of regeneration. We're going to put that staff in here and we're ready to go. Name of the game. For starters will be to get some alchemical items and also get to Riften, so that's where we're setting our course. Want to stay on the road for now. Is what he said before directly moving off into the wilderness. We are ultra squishy, with less than a hundred armor. It's not going to go well. Okay, sorry, had to take a phone call. So, back in the wilderness of uh, Skyrim. We're still on our way to Riften. First wolf is hunting prey there. Yeah, and like I said, we indeed do have only a hundred armor, so not much to write home about. After this hill, however, we should be fine. There's a spider, most certainly don't want to tangle with that. Oh, come on. Carefully moving further. Let's position and hide over here. Oh, nice. We're being shot at. Well, fantastic. Isn't that a beauty? That's where our staff uh, comes in handy. Thank you. Thank you. And I think for starters, just as we're going, we're going to take some armor. Trying to get uh, away from them to rift it. But yeah, I stupidly ran into their fortress. Reapplying mage armor. On the flip side, we already killed our first two bandits. Of 
gosh, our stamina is painfully low. Ah, and we're still in combat. Gotta be mindful with the charges. At least we're out of combat. We've har harvested a couple of plants, so a bit magicka. And a bit health and a bit stamina. I do have the suspicion that uh, the Light armor actually drains our stamina. Because we haven't perked it. So yeah. Uh, start of the adventure mage gameplay not particularly fun to go through the wilderness we're going to take our first quest here we make easy not only did they take my a few days ago if you have the guts to head to the rat way again thanks oh yeah we're going to take it secondly we need wheat to create potions. There we go. Two more cabbages uh, for our veggie soup. And while sweated, chickens' uh, eggs are good as well. So I'm trying to create a few potions for us just so that we can uh, start off. Now, our next problem is we have a whooping hundred gold pieces, and those are coming from both of the bandits. Matter of fact, we have zero gold. Uh, we almost start with zero gold pieces. So what we're going to do is... We're going to go over and find ourselves an alternative way into Riften. All of the entrances are sealed off, but the metery, luckily for us, is not. I'm the brewmaster around here. What did you want? Um, primarily, I want you to get out of my way. What the? Hey, don't look at me that way. Go Fantastic. Good. Here we go. Welcome to Riften. No need to pay the 500 uh, gold pieces entrance, fine. What I will do, though, is I will start harvesting the entire city. Let me do that off camera and then we'll do some potions. So. I'm done with the collection route and uh, let me just show you real quick what I did so that you could theoretically do that as well. I harvested the entirety of Riften, then went around uh, the city only in the direct per um, perimeter and then went uh, the uh, street all the way to the uh, Daylight Canyon, which is right here. There are no enemies, there's only one uh, animal spawn. Uh, Stormcloak patrols as well as Riften Guards, so it's impossible to die there. Uh, from here, I went through the canyon to Fort Dawnguard because that's another area that is safe, zero enemies uh, there, and you could just harvest. And that's exactly what we did. So, 
this is how a full harvest could look like and we're now going to look into a couple of items as always i start with the ones that are most important blue mountain flower plus wheat makes up for 40, uh, 45 health plus healing on the back end of it so we got five healing potions that's a good start and we can definitely use that Blue Mountain Flower, however, has another uh, proper uh, property that might be helpful for us together with Lavender. It fortifies Conjuration. So we'll just take two of those. I don't want to go overboard with it, specifically since we can use the Mountain Flowers for something else. But having that extra Conjuration could help to, uh, to increase the skill temporarily. Then we do have a few just Affliction um, affliction. Um, items which can help to create uh, poisons for us. Canis root uh, in particular together with uh, red mountain flower um, is doing a damage health health poison and the other uh, very good uh, one uh, would be nightshade where where is it uh, nightshade plus red mountain flower again also damage to health. I'll use that as a means uh, for starters to get by in the very early game so a few poisons are helpful good then uh, we do have still purple mountain flower plus uh, snowberries which would be resist frost so that's already a good one um, thristle bane would be the third one here uh, did i didn't i have thristle brain might have used it already, but oh yeah, there we go. So just discovering the pro uh, properties is why I'm also doing that. Um, we do have spell shield for a few of them. Bleeding crown, chicken egg and lavender would be doing that. So that here would be one. But also that which is Potion of Resist Magic. And I think we're just going with a theme. Um, that's quite typical. Fly um, Aminita, Claws and Mora Tapinella, as well as Snowberries, all would give, uh, um, uh, would give uh, Spiritedness, which is Gradual Stamina Regeneration. So we're definitely going to go with that theme. And snowberries, there we go. And that plus purple mountain flower would be recuperation. So those are stamina reg uh, regen potions. Which brings us to magicka. I think. Now, let me look that up. Yeah, close, but not quite. So, Magicka would uh, would be, in this case, Red Mountain Flower and White Cap. Um, good. So, that would be that. Um, we do have Flame Bane uh, still, which is uh, Dragon Tongue and Fly Meter or Snowberries. I'll just use snowberries. Okay, and what else do we have? I think that's pretty much it. Uh, we could do able destroying, but we don't have a second. Uh, a second. We only have one ably destroying. Uh, which would be nightshade so that could be increasing increase of um, destruction skill but no overall that's fine it's a good start you don't need to always brew everything but let's take a look what we have gotten ourselves to so far so we're looking at a few resist magic potions which is good resist frost resist fire so we're covered here a bit of magical regeneration uh, stamina regen and most importantly, healing here and healing there, which is exactly what we're going uh, to use. 
Uh, second one would be the recuperation potions. At the beginning, this build here plays a little bit uh, like a fighter of sorts, but it will become better gradually. So one of the things where no one is looking that I would love to do is get to this barrel. And instead of stealing, we're just going to put all of the stuff that we don't need in here. We're going to do that very soon. We need food. That's uh, next on our agenda. This could become handy. I think two of them are enough for now. Resist fire. I'm trying to be mindful with our load. Good. Well, that's all we got at this point. Fantastic. Good. Next stop, we need to do food creation, aka cooking. So, we made it into the Briar's Inn, and I purchased with all of the gold that we had a few ingredients, plus we collected the rest. So, for starters, uh, we do have a couple of special meals and remember that uh, pheasant breast that I took from uh, the very first cave where we killed our warlock that comes in handy because the pheasant comfort is essentially what we can create out of it then we could use a goat leg and um, venison for an evermorian cassolet so that's good as well and vegetable soup is an all-time stable classic for mages i won't go into the grilled leeks so we'll keep a few more of uh, these uh, these foods around most of the stuff here i can't steal or i don't want to steal so we need to find a way to position all of this stuff Alright, come on. It should be possible that I'll find a quiet corner here. Gosh, our sneak is so bad. I'll just put it where the alchemist is at. For now, we don't have a, sa a real safe um, place. So, we do have a few really, really strong foods here. I'll use uh, the bread and only food, which kind of makes up for their weak stats. Restores as a main course, health has increased 30 points, uh, weight, carry weight increased by 30 points, stamina increased by 30 points. Mind you, you do have lower stats, so the game expects you to apply some knowledge in preparation. Restores stamina, increases magicka regeneration, and magicka itself is also increased. So we're going to have a good time with that. And now we're preparing ourselves for the actual first battle. You see that mages require a bit of preparation to make sure that you're not immediately uh, getting getting pounced at. But we're going to go through the waterways and we're actually going to hopefully success uh, successfully do all of that. Let's position all of the food that we don't need there. good and we only got like proper food everything else not needed at the moment cool now let's learn the remaining spells and get ready for some action in the sewers Hey. That should be 
all for now. Eating. Uh, we don't need a poison at the moment. Fortify health will only come in play once it's required. And I think for now that's pretty much it. All right, let's go. good so that's him down damn it our charges are depleted uh, which means we're now down to normal weapons I don't want to deal with a normal dagger instead This will have to do. Go ahead, Doggo. Take the shot. Gosh. We definitely have aggroed enemies from below. This guy had a dwarven bow and glass arrows oh my gosh he would have dealt so much damage against us yeah we don't really need a shield at the moment I mean on the other hand, it increases our armor quite substantially, so might as well. Using our poisons now, and a shield in the offhand. Well, we can uh, use our only aggressive spell that we do have. Or we're distracting her and we'll jump on her. Just need a little bit more stamina for now. They do have proper ingredients. And besides, I could have used a couple more of uh, the blue mountain flowers. Should bring them with me. Surprisingly easy. So, we get decent gloves for unarmored, which we certainly can sell, and we got the lowest possible ring. 
which I think for now we take over the ring of nullification because stamina is definitely an issue for us. That is that, and that, and we're okay for now. Time to get his bow back, because that's what he wanted us to do. I'm just wondering, we got like this massive bow with glass arrows whether or not we would be capable of actually killing something with it although we're not perked but glass arrows are nasty they are pretty damn good let's see we unfortunately immediately got detected but the damage is substantial Tell you what, if we can regain stamina in a semi-efficient -effi manner, this could actually work out. Yep, the enemies are coming up. One down. Good, we don't get experience, but that's a safer way. Oh boy, our damage with the bow isn't as bad as I thought it would be, and frankly, I might be using the bow for now as a starter. It costs a lot of, um, a lot of stamina, but overall it's not too bad. We need to find another way of refilling the staff, but we'll get there. We'll get there. All right, back to the red way vaults. We killed one of them and can now just do it normally. So let me open all of these and then we're going to see what the result will be. Okay, so we had a couple of decent loot items. We got this here, uh, which isn't too bad. I suppose actually for now an armor upgrade. A bit heavier, but also decent armor overall. Um, we got ourselves... What else? Uh, a lot of lockpicks that we don't need really and a few diluted potions uh, looted the bow that we don't need oh yeah and we got ourselves first small magical weapon okay for now but we're going to disenchant it uh, later so with that being said I think to go a little bit deeper into the dungeon here no. No. <laughs> I'm gonna eat well tonight my darling
Okay, so that has solved this problem. And where is she? She ran off. Please don't yeah, me. there we go. Okay, I thought that she had the bow, but I might have been wrong. This here is the part where you need to go for the main quest a little bit later. We don't want to steal anything. Julianus wouldn't be cool with that. Instead, it's back to finding the bow. Yeah, I forgot one chest. So finally, that bow is uh, back with us. The elven gloves were right there. And I also looted a few more alchemical items. Nothing to write home about, but it will be okay for future potions that we're uh, brewing. And since there are anyways a couple of dead rats here, might as well use uh, some of their parts for something meaningful. I am contemplating the idea of uh, keeping the axe for now. Just so that we do have a somewhat reliable melee weapon. Uh, summoning one is okay, but it takes a while, so I think we're, we'll keep it for now. Um, as a means of defending ourselves in melee, we do not have really a lot of other ways of doing that. Okay, let me turn in the quest and get a bandit quest. Okay, hey, so we're on the street in Riften. Got ourselves a bandit bounty for Travis Watch. That's a bit above our pay grade at the moment. I want to start a bit slower. So we're going to take the bandits right here near the street. Effectively in the hopes of uh, getting a bit more experience. Soon I would then do the horse quest, since we're anyways in Riften, might as well uh, get that off our uh, bucket list and instead go for traveling with a horse. Alright, here we go. Summoning a fresh wolf and using my, my flanking buddy in order to kill them. Cool, but of water, helpful, this here is valuable. Very good, skill book, that's a nice bonus. This could be helpful. This could definitely be helpful. Thank you. Some more arrows, because I think we're going to use the bow as a means for range damage. Let's just double check. I mentioned it at the beginning. We're going to start out just like a warrior and soon it's going to be better and better. Gosh, we're looking like a mixed garage sale. Yeah, I don't have any more lockpicks. What I meant to say is masterwork uh, keys. I need to purchase uh, one, but we're low on funds. Only got uh, 699. So we're going to take the camp up there next. So we're dealing with a couple of archers. Our way of engaging with them is getting our wolf out. Damn it, one hit and we're almost down.
Good job, doggo. That's a good disenchant. And since we're out of combat, might as well chuck some bottled water. Yeah, as you can see, Mage at me beginning not good. But thankfully we did have Mage armor. And at least some other armor. Using all of or most of our healing gear. Yeah, we're still having a bit more. And if I can get my hands on a carriage, I'll drive to White Run. And that would actually be the, the next big thing, getting to White Run. But before that, let's go to Broken Helm Hollow. Okay, let's prepare that. It's going to be a bit more difficult. Gradual stamina regeneration. And let's also reapply mage armor down now it's a matter of uh, slowly regenerating stamina and separating these both specifically the boss uh, with his armor and his two-handed axe is a problem We got a couple of hits in. Yeah, unfortunate. I was hoping she would give me an opening. But she did not. It's obvious we gotta be careful with him. Refreshing the poison and regaining some magicka. Fantastic. That was good. That was really good. A couple of very solid hits in.
kidding me? Okay, very good. That's helpful. That is helpful for out of combat regeneration. Okay, so a few things. Uh, let's start reporting back on his death, which is unfortunate. Yeah, those are also only iron arrows. I was hoping for better arrows. Okay, we'll need to come back with an apprentice... Uh, with an apprentice lock, although... Tell you what... This might already do the trick. Fantastic. What? Wow! Whoa! Frost suppression, 40%. That is an awesome find. That is an awesome find. Together with the Ring of Nullification. Like, that's a really, really strong necklace. Specifically for a low-level dungeon like this. Cool. Happy about it. We're going to get all of the available mushrooms out of uh, the cave and since everything worked so well i think we're off to rifter uh, to uh, white run next because we will need to uh, do a couple of things uh, there actually uh, mainly getting new potions and maybe getting an easier first bend at the bounty so off we go so we went to White Run and got ourselves a nice portion of uh, wheat uh, there. So healing potions are covered. There is a bit more that we can do though. Of course, we have quite a bit of uh, red mountain flowers. So, how about we're going to create a few more potions of magicka? Okay, time to get a couple more uh, properties going. So, Dragon Tongue and Fly uh, Aminata. Oh, we already got had that one. Uh, we had Able Conjuring, Able Deceiving, Blue Butterfly Wing and Dragon Tongue. That would be... Oh, well. Should take the right one. There we go. Fortify Illusion, that is. Glowing Mushroom and Nightshade would make for Able Destruction. Uh, 
Then we got a couple more afflictions, Canis Root and Imstool in particular. Uh, don't have Canis Root anymore, but we got Imstool and uh, Skeever Tails. Uh, those would work as well. There we go. Just getting the properties uh, set up. Then we got Blue Mountain Flowers plus Blue Butterfly Wings. Uh, same with uh, Chicken Eggs for Impairments. Okay. Then we got Claws. Uh, no, we used all of those. But we can use Nightshade. There we go. That's Impairment as well. Imstool and Mora Tapinella would make for lingering damage, which is fantastic. So, in terms of further effects, what else could we do? Learn root is valuable, but we could uh, use that one together. Um, let's think. Blue butterfly wings, likely. There we go, that's uh, cold damage. Garlic, glowing mushrooms and lavenders make a good combination as well. Fortify stamina. There you go. Then, I mean, from a healing perspective, we already had Imp Stool, which is currently out of stock. Too bad. First Ranch and Garlic is resist poison. And I tell you what, I like that so much that we're actually going to create a second one. Amreas Root and Skeever Tail. Oh no, my bad. That was Garlic and Namias Root. There you go. Regeneration. Tundra Cotton, Lavender, and Nurn Root. Lavender. Tundra Cotton, Resist Magic. And Nurn Root also is a nice Resist Magic. A couple more of these, as we can always uh, use them. And finally, Whitecap. Skeever tail. Oh, we don't have that. But we do have Bristol branches. No, we don't have that either. Any claws left? No, no, no. Well, Skeever tails are actually quite good. You can uh, do a lot of uh, more of it. Uh, specifically, fortification potions uh, functions uh, function quite well. Cool. So this is us rebrewing and now getting our main stack of potions with us. Okay, we ended up with the base potions, Magicka, Recuperation, that sort of thing. Plus, what I actually like is the gradual restoration of stamina and health. That is quite good. Specifically, the gradual, uh, uh, gradual restoration of health is good. I'm going to use a few poisons at the beginning. That's fine as well. And now it's all about uh, just ending in the quests and a few more logistics. So once about time, first step, we want to... 
get uh, the ball of Draven back. So, as my boat. That's it. I don't know how you. Here. This is all I can afford to give you as compensation. Inside potions are actually quite helpful. Uh, so are his gems. Next up. You need Next up. We are reporting the death of Leifnar's body. Here, I want you to have this. Bringing me closure for, with just my... With Leifnar gone, at this rate, we won't last more than a few more seasons at best. Then I'll just have to send the old place. Drop by and see us again if you're ever in the area. Good, since we're now friendly, that means we can take a few things here without creating any problems. No sign of him. Good. We need those for our special food. And let's just double check real quick how far we are. In terms of leveling, we got quite a few bumps. Cool. So first skill that I'd like to raise is evasion, because I want the dodge perk. Straight to 20, but we might as well just keep on going until 25. And that will level us. Starting with a little bit of health. And starting with evasion. Next up we would go into the dodge perk. But we would need to level once more for that. I'm also looking a bit at the time of the first episode. I tell you what, I'll do a bit behind the scenes uh, work next steps is uh, just really disenchanting this and disenchanting the dagger of fatigue trying to uh, get a free um, recharge of the staff um, and essentially going to the college of winterhold because we need starter gear and they offer quite uh, quite a bit so i will do that and in the next episode, we're then finally going to do some more Bandit content. If you would like uh, the Mage gameplay, uh, then leave a comment and like uh, down below. Uh, just like the Mage, you've got to aim that spell uh, towards the like button and cast to see uh, that the uh, video will be successful. Thanks, guys, and have a good one. See you in two days. Bye-bye.